Think about this, guys. Think about the unit circle. You have a circle, right? Do, 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 do. If I give you a angle, and let's just say, I don't know, let's do pi over 4. If I say, what is the sign of that angle, right? How many answers do we have? One. Sine of pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2. Because at pi over 4, there is only one coordinate point, and there's only one y coordinate, which is square root of 2 over 2. It's a function. You plug something in, you get something out. Every input has one output. That's a function. The problem is, what if I said, here is a point. What if I give you a point and I say, square root of 2 over 2 comma square root of 2 over 2? What is the angle? And then you say, well, it's 45 degrees, or pi over 4. And then I say, OK, it could be that. But what about negative 7 pi over 4? And you say, OK, yeah, you're right there. And then I say, well, what about all these other coterminants? What about um, 9 pi over 4? And then you're like, yeah, that one works too. And then I say, well, what about 17 pi over 4? And then you're like, oh, crap. There's infinite many answers. And then we think, well, that, that relationship's not a function. I give you a point. And there's infinite many angles, right? You can't have an input go to out multiple different outputs. One input goes to one output. So to satisfy this relationship to be a function, we restrict this, right? We say, all right, if I, or if I was going to say, sorry, like um, the angle. So then we restrict it. So for sine and cosine, we restrict it, saying you can only give me an angle that's within the first and the fourth quadrant. And therefore, there's only one angle now that works, and that's pi over 4, right? for the positive version. Or if this was cosine, and we were talking about the cosine, then it has to be in the first and the second quadrant. And again, that's going to give us only one angle. That's why that restriction works. So again, yeah, when I'm just like, you don't restrict sine of pi over 4. There's only one answer. You don't need to worry about it. But when you're working backwards, that's why we had those multiple answers that we had to be restricted. So the first and fourth quadrant, and the second and fourth quadrant? Yep. Yep. 